So the footage that I'm about to play, it is from the previous video that I just uploaded, the catching fat bass in a tornado. That was supposed to be a catch and cook video. I had three final videos once I got done editing the whole thing, and uh, I ended up selecting the wrong final video, the one that didn't have the catch and cook part at the end. So, this is the footage from the catch and cook. So I guess this is gonna be a completely different video since I somehow left the footage out and picked the wrong video with me trying to hurry up and get the video uploaded. So, enjoy this footage. This is what was supposed to be in the last video. So I'm gonna make this the part two to catching bat bass in a tornado. Hope you enjoy. So we're back in the kitchen and I've went ahead and filleted the red eye and uh, it turned out awesome. Super white meat, and what we're gonna do, we're just gonna stick it in the skillet. I've got these seasonings right here, salt, pepper, kicking chicken, red hot, some yum yum sauce, cheese, tortilla, and uh, I'm also gonna put just a little bit of lettuce on top. But it's just gonna be like, kind of like a fish taco sort of thing. We'll cook up that really quick, and uh, we'll get a little taste test on some red eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of salt, pepper, kicking chicken, and uh, I'm gonna put the reds hot and the yum yum sauce on after I get it in the tortilla, just for a little bit more flavor and uh, kick from the reds hot. So now that we've got that seasoned up, I'm gonna go ahead and stick these two pieces down in the skillet. Before I put the seasoning on, I dried both the fillets off, it just helps. Some of the seasonings stick a little bit better. And, uh, ooh, there we go. First one's in, now for the second one. Now I went ahead and just seasoned one side just because the fillets aren't that big and uh, it should take up all that flavor where I'm using a smaller skillet as well. But check this out. When I was out on the water, I decided to wear flip flops and didn't put sunscreen on. So now I've got a pretty nice, pretty nice flip flop tan. So that's always good going into summer with a nice flip flop tan. <laughs> so I just flipped the fish and now I got the tortilla with cheese. I melted the cheese down, just put it in the microwave. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab these fillets right off the skillet, put on some Red's Hot Yum Yum sauce and then some lettuce. And uh, we'll give her a try. Just super quick, super easy, right off the water if you have a fish that you're trying to cook and uh, eat really quick. This is a really fast way to do it, and uh, it's very delicious as well. It's almost falling apart. It looks so, so good. Go ahead and put it right down on our tortilla. It looks so good. All right, now that we got the fish on our tortilla, we're just gonna add a little bit of Red Hot for a kick. Now we're gonna put on some Yum Yum sauce just for a little more added flavor. And then to top it off, we're gonna put on some lettuce. Cause you can't have a taco without lettuce. Oh my gosh, that looks good. <clears throat> Pretty much that is the end result of making a fish taco. From the lake right to your skillet, and it's delicious, super quick. See how good it is. See what my cooking skills have done. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's good. That meat is so, so flaky. I don't know if you guys can see that, but Oh my gosh, that's good. Mm. But basically, if you're catching bluegill, red eye, any sort of pan fish like that, keep them. At the end of the day, you can make a fish taco like this. Super easy, super quick. I just threw this together in maybe like, I don't know, wasn't more than like six minutes or so. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that little cooking segment. It was supposed to go up on Easter, and I did the whole outro saying, I hope you guys have a great Easter and all this other stuff. And uh, I guess it's going up now, whenever you're watching this. 
So make sure to stay tuned because I just got done editing the turkey roosting video. We ended up going out roosting some turkeys and then also stay tuned for my turkey hunt. The opening day, we had Emily behind the camera and uh, we ended up having an amazing hunt. Absolutely picture perfect opening day hunt. So stay tuned for that. Keep an eye out. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on it. Comment down below and hit the subscribe button. It's easy. It's free. It's really not that hard to do. And a uh, little notification bell and you'll be notified when I post new videos. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.